Tim here with my Wyke do-it-yourself cargo trailer that I built a couple of years ago. Uh, many of you have probably seen the, the original video. It was a time-lapse type video um, showing me picking up the, uh, the, the aluminum tubing from the metal shop, um, already cut to the dimensions that I wanted, and then assembling it, um, but it was all time-lapse. And I've had a lot of questions since then about about the build, about the trailer, why I did certain things, how I did certain things. So in this video, I'm going to go into a little bit more detail. Um, I'm going to deconstruct, I guess, the trailer. I'm going to take the sides off and the deck off, show you the trailer, show you why I did certain things the way I did. Um, and then uh, hopefully that helps a lot of answer a lot of the questions that people have had about the trailer. So details again about the trailer, where I got it. It's Wyke or Wycicle. Um, it's a Canadian company that builds quite a different, a lot of different bicycle trailers or bike trailers. Um, you can get them already built to certain set specifications or if you wish you can get the kits like I've got the do-it-yourself cargo kit here. And that comes with the wheels it comes with the plastic pieces, uh, it comes with a hitch, and uh, the, all the hardware you need to mount it to your bicycle. Um, you have to supply the tubing and whatever type of flooring or decking you wish to add to it. And then you build it to your own dimensions, however long you want it, however wide you want it, uh, that's up to you. And so it's a great kit. Um, this trailer went on a 4,300 mile ride, bike ride, basically. Um, I was I was on a recumbent trike. Uh, pulled it 4,300 miles through seven western states over six months. Uh, any kind of terrain you can think of, we went through it. I mean, rocks, gravel, dirt, sand, water, um, lots of pavement and it was carrying quite a bit of load. The kit is rated at 150 pounds. I was carrying probably well over 200, 250 pounds. I had all my camping gear, my two dogs, um, a solar panel, camera gear, food, water. Um, so it was pretty loaded down, especially at the start of the trip. And I never had any problems with it. Um, Nothing broke on it, nothing bent. Um, now I did build it pretty sturdy, and I used you know this this wood decking and and the the railing that probably helped reinforce as well. Um, but it handled great. Uh, the wheels came off, so if I had to go into a hotel room, I could fit it between the door, um, and. It, uh, the only thing I ended up replacing throughout the ride were the, uh, the tires. You know, those wear, wear down, you know, the tubes get holes in them. Those I had replaced, you know, you can buy these tires um, at Walmart pretty cheap. Same with the tubes. You know, I, of course, lubed it or oiled it every so often. But other than that, the trailer handled perfectly. So let's go ahead and take a more in-depth look at the trailer and how and why I built it certain ways. In a previous video I mentioned that this deck is held on with six bolts. Uh, one in each of the corner and two in the middle. And the bolts actually go through the plastic uh, fitting or plastic uh, piece that comes with the kit. And it goes through the aluminum tubing and then it bolts onto this bracket, this L-shaped bracket that holds the, uh, the wood decking. So I took the six bolts off, um, or six screws off, and it should come off pretty easy now. When I first built this trailer, I debated whether or not to have these side rails. Um, I tried it both ways and I eventually decided that it was best to have these rails just for that extra support when carrying a lot of gear. Uh, 
didn't have to worry as much about stuff falling off the trailer and it helped support things I could strap things to the railing and when I really looked at the weight these rails because it is a white wood a light wood um, not a hard wood or anything but it's pretty fairly lightweight and it's aluminum tubing it really didn't add a whole lot of extra weight so I have had them attached on or I attached it with bolts two here in the middle uh, directly to the frame and two in each corner directly to the frame as well so I've taken off that side this side I've got just these two bolts here that are holding it although they're I've already taken the nuts off so let's see if I can loosen this up and take the this side off So, extremely lightweight, uh, same with the deck, it's the same, uh, it's a white wood, it's not real heavy, um, but it, it works great, you know, it, 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 it's fairly solid if you get thick enough. Um, so the deck and the sides, easy to build, um, I'm not a carpenter or you know somebody who's done a lot of woodworking and a lot of mechanical type work and I had no problem you know once I figured out what I wanted and how I was going to build it so got the sides off now we're gonna look at the trailer as I mentioned previously the kit comes with two wheels these black plastic brackets that you slide these aluminum tube through tubes through as well as this front hitch mount, all the hardware up there, this piece right here which attaches that front, that uh, trailer hitch to your tubing. This is, this tubing, this top tubing that I've got here is a little longer than all the other pieces, the other three pieces, because it has to attach to this uh, trailer hitch. Um, Everything else, the aluminum tubing, uh, these little these mounts that I put on around it, that's in these I basically just put on so I can attach bungee cords to it or ropes or anything to tie stuff down. Uh, they're just black plastic, kind of like those uh, boat or marine um, anchor points. Or, or And I got those at, a, I think, Lowe's or Home Depot, you know, a hardware store. Uh, the tubing. Um, I think you can decide, I, I know there's a recommended, I believe, thickness for the tubing, um, and if you're going to go on a long bike tour or carry a lot of heavy equipment or even, you know, carry dogs or kids, you probably want to go with the thickest tubing you can, um, especially for these length, these pieces that go lengthwise, uh, they hold more weight um, right here in the middle. So you want to make sure that you do have good tubing. Don't don't skimp out and get really thin walled tubing. Um, it was easy to install. You just kind of slide everything together as you saw in my original video. Um, you the pieces through. You put the corner pieces on. Uh, you slide through this middle piece, and then you screw or, or you drill through uh, the tubing and mount your bolts. Um, you want to make sure when you mount the, the center brackets and the center bar for your wheels that you do um, have a little more length in the front here. You don't want to put it right in the middle. Uh, you want the, these to be set back just a little bit towards the rear of the trailer. Um, and that's just for, for balance, for when you're holding more weight, you don't want a lot of weight more weight on the back that's going to be pulling upwards. Um, you want just a tad bit further backwards so that 
you have a little more weight on the front of the uh, the trailer and on the hitch. Um, it it's not really too difficult. I think most people can build this. Uh, it does come with some instructions on how to assemble it. Uh, there's videos out there. Uh, Wyke has some on their website. And um, it can be easily done. The tubing, you can either buy it in lengths and then cut it to whatever you dimension you want, or you can, uh, some of these uh, metal shops or metal stores where you buy tubing like this, if you tell them the lengths that you want, they'll cut it for you. Um, that's what I did. Now, one thing that you might notice if you're building it now or if you've seen it at other trailers that are, use this kit is that mine is upside down. Normally, this trailer, and let me flip it over really quickly. Normally, this trailer looks like this. Let's see if I can make sure you can see it here. With the uh, everything flipped over like it, I, ha I have it here. And I'm not sure, I believe they may, in the, uh, the way that they build it at Wyke, um, the, the manufacturer of this kit, is with this hitch down below here. Um, mine, when it's flipped over, the hitch is on top. And the reason I did that was because it raised this up a little bit higher so the trailer was a little more level with my, my uh, recumbent trike. Uh, my recumbent trike used the, same, or used the same size wheels, so it's a little lower than a uh, regular bicycle. Um, so I, I put this bar, it was uh, basically I, I did it differently just so it makes it easier to mount on the recumbent trike. You might want to follow the way they uh, recommend in the, in the uh, instructions. Now the reason I didn't build it this way and I flipped it over instead was because I wanted more deck space. When you build it the way uh, Wyke suggests, which I would have no problem with, you know, it's probably better for most people, uh, you end up with the brackets in here, inside the trailer, on the top. So anything that you put on here, any kind of deck, has to go around these brackets. So you've got this space right here, basically. Uh, you can either build your deck to go around it, or some people just build the deck between the, the two black brackets. And that loses a little space there. Um, but I wanted more room. I didn't want these brackets in the, on the trailer on the top here taking up some space. But if you do build it this way, you end up with these aluminum side rails kind of as, well, these aluminum tubings up here like this as side rails. Um, whereas mine, when it's flipped over, you don't have any side rails. But uh, this is the way it normally looks um, when you build it as per instructions from, from Wyke. Um, but I did it a little differently and I had no problems with it. Worked just the same for me, worked out just great. So I'm going to flip this back over. Very lightweight. Because it is aluminum tubing. So as you can see I've got more area to put uh, a deck um, on the trailer. You've got this flat area. It raised the trailer up a little bit also. The, or the decking, the top decking part is raised up a little bit where I sit a little lower. So it's really your own preference, um, how you build it. I don't know. I, I assume White suggests you do it the way they they say. But um, like I said, I built it this way and had no issues at all. Um, I think that's about it for the trailer. Like I said, easy to build, easy to customize. It is a do-it-yourself. Um, so it's kind of 
almost designed for you to be creative and build it however wide you want it, however long you want it. Um, I would suggest, you know, I was I was pulling this behind a recumbent trike. So my tr recumbent trike has had two wheels, you know, the two front wheels. So I tried to match the uh, these wheels with those two front wheels as much as possible as far as the width. Um, just for when I'm on the road for uh, you know the tracking of the trailer behind the uh, the recumbent trike. If you're pulling it behind a regular bicycle, it's a little different. You don't have to build that, you know, you know you don't have to worry about the width as much. Um, I built it also so it would I could put a, a pet carrier between the the wheels. It would fit between the wheels um, and between the side rails to carry my two dogs. So really it's just about deciding what you're going to use it for um, and building your dimensions to, to fit that purpose. Um, and that's the nice thing about this do-it-yourself kit. If I really wanted to make it narrower I could cut these um, middle tubes to, to narrow it, but then of course I'd have to change my deck to, to fit as well. Um, but it's a fun project, it's something I think most anybody who's fairly handy with tools and has, you know, if you have some saw, a saw or you don't even really have to have power tools, um, you can get your metal cut pre-cut for you. You can cut the wood fairly easy with a handsaw if you wish. Um, so I'd recommend it for anybody, and I hope this has been helpful. Um, the side rails, again, you build them however you want if you want side rails. Same with the deck. You don't have to use wood. You can use other metal or different materials and just to put on top of this however you want. Um, and just be creative, have fun, and enjoy pulling it behind your bike.